Hi, this is Mark Hibben for Technomicon Media with a video review of the new Apple iPhone 4S, which I happen to have in my hands right here. I realize that some people were a little disappointed that Apple didn't roll out an all-new phone, but with the inclusion of the Apple A5 processor and the new iOS 5 operating system, this is a new phone in all but appearance. To look at it, you would never know that it's a 4S since there's no external badging or visible changes that indicates it's a 4S, just the now classic iPhone 4 styling using the external stainless steel frame and glass on the front and back. The antenna configuration, the SIM card, dock connector, and physical controls are exactly the same as iPhone 4. The iPhone 4S also retains the 960 by 640 pixel retina display. Our videos of the display can't really do it justice, so we're using captured HDMI output instead. It is the sharpest LCD display we've ever seen on a phone. We just wish that it was physically larger. Often displayed text and graphics seem microscopic, even when they are still clearly resolved by the naked eye. For most people with normal eyesight, the resolution of, of the display is simply wasted. The important changes in iPhone 4S are all on the inside. Apple now equips iPhone with the identical A5 processor used on the iPad 2. The A5 is what's called a system-on-chip that integrates dual processor cores, graphics processing, and a lot of different interfaces all on a single silicon die. The processor cores are based on designs licensed from ARM Holdings, the British chip design firm. Almost all smartphones in the world now use ARM technology, so it's not unusual for their processors to be referred to as ARM processors, even though ARM doesn't actually manufacture anything. The A5 itself is currently made by Samsung, and the chip package also includes 512 megabytes of RAM on a separate silicon die. Use of the A5 endows the iPhone 4S with most of the features of the iPad 2, including faster processing and better graphics capability. In effect, the iPhone 4S has become a pocket version of the iPad 2 that you can also make calls with. Other important changes on the inside include an all-new back-facing camera, reportedly made by Sony, which is capable of 8 megapixel still photos, and 1080p video recording at 30 frames per second. Later in this review, we'll be taking a closer look at these features, the faster processor, better graphics, and camera, in terms of real-world performance. Just as important as the hardware changes are the software changes in iPhone 4S. iPhone 4S features iOS 5, which has a lot of great new features including iCloud, improved push notifications, and Siri voice recognition, and we'll be taking a look at many of these new features later in this review. If you have any other late model iOS devices, such as this uh, iPad 2 here, or Mac, such as my trusty MacBook Pro, uh, you'll want to upgrade all of them to be iCloud friendly. That means upgrading to iOS 5 for your iOS devices, which is available free, and upgrading to OS X Lion for Macs equipped with at least a, an Intel Core 2 Duo processor or one of the newer Core i3, 5, or 7 processors. iOS devices that can be upgraded include iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, 3rd and 4th generation iPod Touch, and iPad and iPad 2.